take a 300 foot bag and see what it'll do to some uh, old military green rockets. Alright, this is the style of K pot that they would have worn in like Desert Storm or early in the uh, Iraq and Afghanistan wars. They've been enhanced since, but as you can see, the 300 wind mag did penetrate it. Went right through in the front and blasted through in the back. So that soldier would have been hurting. All right, we've got a AK-47 here, cheap little Wasser 10. And we've got a sappy plate, just like we use overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan. And uh, we're gonna see what the sappy plate, uh, how the sappy plate holds up against 762 by 39. So we just shot the uh, AK at the sappy plate, and the uh, bullet, I think, entered right here and exited right here. You can kind of feel a little trench dug right between them. So we're going to cut it open to find out if that's actually what happened. But there's nothing on the other side. It didn't penetrate. All right, so the round actually hit down here. And what we thought was little trenches dug, um, they are trenches, but it's multiple. The round actually shattered on impact and cut through a big piece of the uh, the vest, the, uh, the the plate there. But it was not; it did not penetrate. It just shattered on impact. All right, so we've got a second sappy plate, and just for fun, we're going to put a 300 wind mag in it. Ready? All right, so we just shot this plate with a 300 wind mag. As you can see, it penetrated. I can fit my whole finger in that hole. Look at that. Came back out the other side. This guy was dead. Then you can see our target stand. It hit one of the rungs on our target stand. And after going through a sappy plate, still had the energy to blow the rung in half. That's pretty impressive.